This absolutely gorgeously cute puppy is Ellie, and Ellie uh, has some accidents in the house. So in this video, we're gonna go over how you can potty train your dog. Um, now I have some high value training treats in my, in my hand and she's trying to get them. Um, this is why she's being so determined. Now, uh, the, word, the guardians have been using the word uh, potty and a lot of us use the word uh, in, a, in the wrong context and it confuses the dog and after a while the dog starts listening for that word. So if your dog, if you have difficulty potty training your dog, you might want to come up with a new word. So we're going to use the word boomer because the guardians here are big fans of Texas. And so what we're going to do, uh, well first of all I'm going to talk about the things you would and never do. The two most common mistakes people make with potty training is they rub the dog's nose in it. That's been clinically proven to actually make the dog not uh, potty trained. As a matter of fact, it teaches the dog to not tell you. And it'll actually go and hide and potty somewhere else because when it, when it does it in front of you, you rub its nose in it. The other thing you want to want to do is yell at the dog and get mad at the dog for potty. Bad dog, you potty in the house. Well, the dog's just like, well, you don't like me pottying, but I got to potty like six times a day. So if you don't like it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and hide and do it behind the couch instead of telling you. I actually have clients in California where most people don't have yards. They have to walk their dog to pee. Well, a lot of these clients have to actually tie their dog to a fence somewhere and then go around the corner because their dog won't pee in front of them because they've gotten, they chastise it. What you mean to say is don't pee in the house, but they hear just don't pee. So uh, don't do either one of those two things. They will not make it work easier. They will make it worse. When it comes to potty training, exclusively positive reinforcement is what you want to do. All right, so the first thing you want to do is come up with a command word. So we've, we're going to use the word boomer. Now, uh, dogs, the three times puppies are most, and really puppies, but dogs as well, are most likely to need to go are right after waking up, five minutes after eating, and 15 minutes after the start of playtime. So if your star starts playing right against the zoomies and runs around, look at your clock. Okay, it's uh, 5.45 at six o'clock, you know, and ask Siri to give you a, a reminder at six o'clock, and six o'clock you take the dog out. I also, when I'm potty training a puppy, I like to take them out once an hour, every hour, no matter what. The more that they're in the right place at the right time, the more the likelihood is for them to do it. And again, we only want to use positive reinforcement. So what I want to do is I don't want to go outside and tell the dog to potty. I'm going to go outside and just be with the dog for up to five minutes. If the dog does not go within five minutes, it's not urgent enough to go. It's distracted by all the sights, sounds, and smells of being outside. So what I want to do is I take the dog inside and I either carry it for 15 minutes or I put it in the kennel. Not a long-term confinement area, which is what I usually prefer, in a kennel. Dogs won't go in the kennel because they don't want to root around in their own waste. So if the dog starts protesting a kennel, it's probably a safe bet that the dog's saying, I need to go potty. It's become more urgent. Then we take the dog outside and give it another five minutes to go. If it doesn't, then we put it back inside for another 15 minutes or carry it for 15 minutes and keep repeating this process. Now, as soon as the dog starts to pee or poop, I'm going to say the word boomer. And you want to say it like that. A lot of times, the dog is, uh, and you went into you over here, sweetheart. Um, when the dog's potty, we go, Boomer! and we'll stop them from pottying. Because we're so excited they're potting outside, but we'll stop and then they'll come in and have an accident. So you don't want to say it like that. You just want to say boomer in a normal tone of voice. They hear inflection. So I like to use conversational tones. So you say the word boomer while she's peeing or pooping, same word. And as soon as she gets done, then you pop a treat in her mouth and say boomer again. Anytime you give a treat, the treat should go in the mouth first and they should hear the command word immediately after. Not just for potty, for any command. And not good potty, just potty, or in this case, boomer. So the first time we tie the action to the sound of the command word. The second time we associate the command word sound with the tasty treat on their mouth. Now, if you really want to jumpstart this, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll go out there and I'll give the dog five treats in a row. Boomer. Well, these are pretty chewy. Um, if your dog, uh, rule of thumb, if your dog is biting on a treat and it takes longer than three bites to chew it, your treat is too big. They should be able to chew it in about three to four bites maximum. Um, these are uh, have no preservatives and I think they're a little bit dry. That's why she's chewing it so long. Um, but what I could do is just give her five treats in a row. Go boomer, 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 boomer. And then the dog's like, holy cow, what did I just do? I just got the mother load of tasty treats. I gotta remember what I did so I can repeat this again. So uh, so basically, after, you know, what you wanna do is, is be out, go outside with your dog every bowel movement for a week. Usually if you do it every single bowel movement for a week, you can get the dog potty trained in a week. She's old enough to be potty trained. She just doesn't, isn't conditioned to be potty trained. Now, a couple people ask me about other things. So a uh, uh, very common request is how do I teach my dog to ring a bell? 
And what if the dog is in a different room and they're not near the door? Well, one of the first things you don't want to do is teach the dog how to ring a bell for potty until you first assign the command word. So you should be able to pull the dog and say, boomer, and have her, when she needs to go, go like this, and you know that's a yes, or say boomer, and she looks at you like that, that's a, a no. But until you can say the word only and have her animate a little bit, don't start trying to do what I'm gonna describe about the, uh, uh, with, the, with the bell. So the most common, puppy, 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 the co most common mistake people, Ellie, make with a bell is they hang it from the doorbell or doorknob, come. Now for dogs, they learn through association, repetition, and good timing. Well, if I hang it from the doorknob, every time the door opens, I hear the bell jingling. So the bell jingle means door open, not potty. So what you wanna do is when you have jingle bell, and the jingle bell is all you'll be able to find. And so you go outside with one bell and you have it clamped and you also have the high valley training treats with you. As soon as the dog starts peeing and pooping, you gently ring the bell. Now a lot of people go, Durr! the dog's never gonna ring it like that when nudging it with its nose to the door, it's gonna be a jingle. So as soon as it starts to pee or poop, gently jingle the whole duration of peeing and pooping. When they get done, Ellie, the treat. Oops. You might be blind. And then I will start jingling it while she's chewing it. The same sort of jingle sensation. Now again, she'll be next to the door, but not at the door. And she'll be hanging about here at her nose level. Um, and so after a week, you take her outside. Every time she's peeing and pooping, we're creating that classical condition. This is Pavlov's dog, of the association of the bell rings at the same time I'm eliminating. And, after, and then after a week, what I do is I take either a tiny bit of peanut butter, sit, and I put it on the bell and let the dog nudge it, and as soon as it's, but just put a tiny bit. If you have too much, they won't want to go outside. So a little bit, she licks it off, and then the door opens, and we go to go outside. So after a while, she'll ring the bell, and if that's the case, and we have a big house like this, we might want to put a bell in every room, especially if we have an office away from the door. She can't get to the bell over here, but she can ring the bell, and again, she make it put it next to the door at nose level, but not so close to the door that every time you open the door, it moves and makes a sound. It should only make a sound when the dog triggers it. Ellie, puppy, puppy, puppy. So remember, hold your hand flat, lower it, and then raise it up over her head to put her in SIT. Come and then tickle her under her chin. Well, this is Ellie. Come here, let's let everybody see how pretty you are. Sit. This is Ellie. And these are some tips and tricks you can use if you want to have a potty train your dog.